Moving on, a fresh attempt to repatriate Rohingya Muslims to Myanmar has failed after no one turned up to the trucks and buses prepared to return refugees from Bangladesh. More than 700,000 Rohingya fled to Bangladesh following a military offensive in the Rakhine state of Myanmar in August 2017. Well, joining me to discuss this further is Chaw Win. He's the founder and executive director of the Burma Human Rights Network. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on Sky News this evening. Uh, we've seen these buses, these coaches prepared to take refugees back and yet they are empty. The drivers are having a sleep on the seats. No one wants to board them. Why? Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, thank you. Um, it is, I, I don't, I don't surprise to see this, you know, um, because the Rohingyas have very clear message. They send a very clear message by not turning up even a single one. Uh, the clear message is here is that Bur Rohingyas are not ready to return to Burma as long as the apartheid citizenship system exists in Burma. What is the apartheid citizenship system is talk about? Because Burma is playing a very clear uh, PR stunt to the international community that that is they're showing that as if they are willing to take back all the Rohingyas and the Rohingyas are the one who denying to return. But the, the process here is they are giving a condition, which is a big, the biggest obstacle here is the NVC nationality verification card system. This verification card is based on the 1982 citizenship law, which is we call is apartheid citizenship system. This is the this is a system that make the Rohingya people, you know, uh, stateless, become uh, take away their citizenship right, take away their ethnicity rights, take away all their human rights. So this is the based on as long as uh, the citizenship process based on 1982 citizenship law, that that, that doesn't make uh, you know can, can make any change or because. The Rohingya will never agree to return to Burma. And let alone the Rohingya, there are many other minorities like Burmese Muslim community. They are not Rohingya, non-Rohingya non Muslim community. They also stand, they also uh, become a stateless in Thai Burma border. Thousands of families are there. So that, that means international community need to look at the root cause. The, the, key, the key problem here is the apartheid citizenship system in Burma. Meanwhile, uh, they stay in the refugee camps in Bangladesh. What are conditions like there? The condition here there is, uh, from our view, is appalling, but the Bangladesh government is doing their best because, you know, it is not easy to deal with the 1.2, nearly 1.2 uh, 1 million uh, refugees. It suddenly turn up at your door and uh, it's not an easy thing for, for them to, to handle with this. But the problem here is the Burma side. You know, Burmese government understand the situations here and they're systematically doing all, all uh, executing all this uh, plan, genocide problem, uh, pr pr genocide plan. So this genocide has take place in Burma is not just a few years ago. It has been committed by, you know, Burmese militaries uh, since uh, several decades. And this here is the outcome here is 1.1 million, million uh, you know, refugees in, in, in Bangladesh right now. So the condition of the uh, these refugees are very much related to what happened in Burma. What happened in Burma is a genocide and international community need a very stronger step you know so far it is really uh, it is not that improving uh, from the international community side we see uh, there are symbolic actions but we need a significant action required here uh, and very briefly if you could uh, are you hopeful people will feel safe enough to return anytime soon um, as far, as long as uh, you know it is depend it entirely depend on burma burma is the one who uh, playing uh, different, you know, trick with the international community, showing that they are, they want, they are uh, uh, allowing them to return. But actually, they are the one who created obstacle for the Rohingya to return. Because the three things is a very important uh, message here from Rohingya community. They need to return to their own place, their their homes, their their lands. And the second thing is they need to they need protection because they cannot return to the hand of the people, the certain people who rape and kill and you know destroy the. Uh, kill their women and their families and their loved ones. So that, that is another yeah. second. The, a, the third thing is, it, the third thing situation. is that they need I'm their so citizenships. To, I'm so sorry to have to jump in, um, but Chorwin, thank you very much indeed for bringing us up, to, up to date on that uh, very sad thank situation you. from the Burma Human Rights Network. Thank you.